Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Series 10. Now, I am wearing the new Hellish HT. I like it, and if you like it and want one, store.masterhellish.net. Now, last time we were doing some Open TTD in the live streams, and we did some of this blast furnace stuff that we had all going on, getting ready, and we dug through a hillside and stuff. I asked the chat, the chat said, dig through the hill. So I did. And we've got all the stuff coming into Hellish Annex with the engine plant and things. It's not all done. Now, some of you may have noticed that every other video in this series, we've started a new challenge. So at the beginning of this series, we started Hellish City. And then the next one was over in the Preservation Lands. And the next one in the No Train Zone. And by my reckoning, episode 13, we are now going to be going over to the vehicle challenge to work on that. Is what I would be saying if that is what we're doing, but we're not. We're actually going to stay at Hellish City. We're going to book the trend. We're going to break the rule. We're going to save the vehicle challenge for later on. Although I have had an idea for a hard mode on the vehicle challenge. Listen up for this one. So... You need a uh, an assembly plant, just like the one that's here, to make your vehicles. And you need a load of other things to make the things for the assembly plant, etc, etc. Hard mode would be, you're not allowed to fund any industries. So as an optional extra, you're not allowed to fund any industries on this island. Uh, all you can do is just use what is there and wherever it is. I am personally going to choose to do that. It's up to you if you do that too, if you're playing along. And if you are playing along, that is fantastic. If you're not playing along, you can do. Go to masterhellish.net forward slash S10. And all the information you need, including the map download, is there. So like I said, we're going to carry on with Hellish City and the stuff that's going on here. We've still got a few things that need hooking in. And the city is growing quite nicely. Now we're running out of money. So I'm going to unpause the game. We're at four and a half thousand people in Hellish City. Let's just get rid of these signs. There's quite a few of them in the way at the moment. So, four and a half thousand people. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that we are currently needing coal. And we're doing good at that, along with the mail, food and passengers. We have a good amount delivered for all of them. Maybe food could do with a bit of a push, a bit of an extra, but for now we're okay. Next up is glass, and we've already got that. And after glass is this uh, cast iron that we're going to be putting in. Now this station here, this design is a little bit different from what I've been doing previously. Uh, during the live stream, viewers sent their um, station designs into the Discord, and we use them as inspiration for the different station designs. So if you've got a station design, come along to the Discord, post it in the Open TTD channel. I'm sure I'd like to take a look at what you've got there. Now, if you're not already on the Discord, just go to the website, masterhellish.net. There's a link to the Discord at the top and very bottom of the website. Now, we need to change this. This should be accepting cast iron. So we need to be accepting something... Uh, so let's get the station design in, and we will go to ISR stations. We need to accept cast iron. Hmm. Good stations, or a good station low. We've got freight station and heavy freight. You know what? I'm going to go with the heavy freight station. Let's Actually, let's do partially heavy freight and partially freight. Yeah, bit of variation there. I like it. Okay, we'll go with that. That That's much better. So, uh, as you can see, we're getting some money in the bank account now. And uh, we don't have a loan still. We're over 2 million, so I will pause the game. I don't want the game to get too far ahead. I want to be able to uh, build lots of infrastructure uh, while we're doing this. And, and while the city's growing. And while we're going to the other places around the map. Speaking of the map, I want your game saves. So, I said it in the live stream and I will repeat it now. Uh, I want your 1950 game saves. Once I get to 1950, whenever that will be, the next episode will be me showing your 1950s viewer game saves. So, get them over to me. Contact details are all on my website as normal. Come over to the Discord, drop the file if the file's too large. 
put it on Dropbox, give us a link, and we'll take all your game saves and we'll take a look at your 1950 saves if you're playing along. So then, uh, what what are we doing next? Okay, so we, we've got Coke ready to come out of here. We haven't got any trains on these new lines, so I think that's what I'm going to do first. So the first thing we're going to be doing is picking up Coke from this particular station here. So let's get, we're going to start with a, a better train now. Yeah, we're going to start with the, the better train. The reliability has come up. Maximum reliability is now 94%. And we're going to, we also need the carriages. So if we go down here and say we want the Coke, the Coke is a refitted coal truck. And we're going to go full length now. We're starting with length 12, I think. Full length, so that's the maximum spread in this game. And you can see, oh, our performance is 0 0.9 horsepower per ton. That's still not great. You know what? I think we will cut it down. We'll cut it down uh, to length 10. 1.1 horsepower per ton. It's a bit of an improvement. It's, it's a relatively marked improvement. I don't want these trains taking ages to accelerate down my lines. Now, I could do the maths or I could test it, see how much difference it really makes, but I'm winging it. I'm winging it. I'm going to be honest with you. So, we'll full load over here. We'll go down the line and we'll unload at this station here. That's all the orders we really need. Uh, we're going by default. We go non stop. That's fine. There's no other stations in the way. We don't need to transfer or anything. And there we're in zone. So let's clone that so there's at least four of them. There we go. So that's the first thing we've got the coke coming in. Now we have already got these trucks moving backwards and forwards here. You can see that we are picking up. Um, the limestone and bringing it in. Now, one of the things that we've got around here, if I just put the uh, labels back on, we've got two bus entrances here. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that we've got two. So can I make the industry transparent? See, we've got one there, one there. Why can't that be the same one? There we are. We'll delete it. We'll delete it and re-add it. We'll re-add it. We'll go to road connections like that. And I will hold control so that I can make it uh the same as this one uh and we'll probably rename this we'll probably rename this after a viewer plus subscriber uh, we'll do it in one of the live streams but for now we'll we'll keep we'll keep them named the same we'll keep the name the same for now but these trucks are going to have an invalid order soon so because they're short order, shared orders i'll be okay in fact what we should yeah th these are going to be fine we'll just uh change that order and there we go. That's that fixed. Okay. Now, we've got cast iron that is going to be coming out. In fact, we will be producing cast iron quite soon because we're already supplying the limestone. We need to supply the iron ore and coke. I want to get all three supplied by the end of this recording. Um, so, let's get a new vehicle. We're going to get an engine. And then we're going to be picking up the cast iron the cast iron in a goods van we'll buy and rebuild that we'll get it out to length 10 i'm looking forward to updating well i'm not looking forward to updating all my trains because that's going to be a little bit of a pain but i'm looking forward to having length 12 12 trains there we go right we'll full load here we'll go around this station design this station design was one that brandon sent or at least uh, inspired by the one that brandon sent there was uh, some little improvements around here and uh, a different a slightly different entrance but overall uh, it was a, a nice idea to have this gentle bit on the outside there. And that's going to come down over to the annex down here, where we will just unload. Right, let's get six of those in for now. There we go. Next time we unpause the game, they'll all pull out. So, that will actually be two different things coming into the blast furnace we need the iron ore coming in and the two over here let's just toggle them back these are both iron ore mines so i think what we'll do is we'll use one by train and then we'll maybe shuttle the other one with road vehicles or something because it's a bit short for a train journey potentially we'll see we'll start with road vehicles maybe if we manage to get engineering supplies into these iron ore mines we can then think about Oh, the production's, like, gone gung-ho. And when the production's gung-ho in the game settings we've got, that's 300%. So it's three times as much. If we're producing three times as much, maybe that's when we're going to bring a train in. We'll see. But we need to figure out how we're going to do a station here. 
So we've got one uh, quarry over here on the kind of east side um, of the map. And everything else, I think, is all on the north. So if we zoom out, I've got these numbers. So I think one and two are gone already. So then we've got three, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Yes. So we've got five things towards the north and one, well west and one thing towards the east so i think what we'll do with this east one instead of trying to come across this hill and through all these um, bits here I, I guess we could just put a little station in here yeah that makes sense there's no point in crossing the road and going into a bigger station when we've got a nice gap here so let's build a station in that gap so what we're going to be dropping off let's just refresh our memory this one is limestone I keep forgetting, you get limestone from a quarry and from a limestone mine. It's a bit weird, that. So we're going to be picking up limestone. So let's, with the limestone ones, let's go to the ones that are a mineral silo. But it's going to be the mineral silo unloader. And we'll get, of course, it's going to be length 12. But we're only dropping off from one industry. And I don't see us expanding this. So just two platforms will be fine. Um, let's do it so we come in round and out that way. I think we can put the platform up against this cast iron one. So let's do that. 12 by 2 right there. We're going to hold control to build a separate station. And then I'm going to re just build it the right way around. There we go. Uh, we're going to do a very simple row row here. And because it's a row row, we're going to... Oh, we've crashed into the plant. I, because there's no buildings uh, here in these squares, I didn't see it. I thought we could turn around. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do. We'll do a terminus. Just a simple terminus. This is like I said. It's just for one uh, thingy, whatever the thing is called. It's for one iron plant thing. It's not iron. Uh, we'll just go under this river, I guess. I don't see right why not. I mean, you shouldn't really be able to tunnel under, tunnel under rivers like that, in my opinion, but never mind. You should have to go another one down, because look, you're right under the surface. Now, that river cannot be very deep, right? Uh, we'll go with the mineral silo. This time I'll build it the right way around. There we go. And we'll just put a little cross over there. Now, because of the site... Oh, no, wrong signals. There we, there we go. Um, I'm thinking because of the relatively low amounts of trains that are going to be running on this, I'll just put the depot there. I think that was going to be enough. Length 12, have one loading, one moving. Seems okay to me, I think. And then over here, I thought for a change, we'll go under. So let's just do a little bit of a dig in up to there. And then, let's see where the tunnel would come out. The tunnel would come out over there. So if we bring that in a little bit, maybe one more. We'll have a little tunnel in there. There we go. How long is that tunnel? Let's have a look. 13. That's quite long, but we've got long trains and also it's relatively like low throughput. So we'll do it. We'll do it. There we go. Connect these two up. And that line will all be completed. There we go. Right. I say completed. We haven't got the depot on this side. I suppose really you could do double depots like that. That will help with movement a little bit. There's not much reason why you wouldn't. If you were playing with infrastructure maintenance, maybe you wouldn't put the other depot. I can't really see any reason why you wouldn't, to be honest. Okay, so new vehicles will get our steam engine, because that's our only option at the minute. We're playing in 1943. And we're going to be shifting limestone. La, 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 limestone. There we go. Which is a refitted car, uh, coal truck. Um, there we go. 10. Length 10. Nice easy one here. Terminus to pick up. Terminus to drop off. 
don't need any transfer orders. I think three is going to be plenty there for now. Um, good, okay. So now we're going to be looking at some of these other ones on this side. I want to focus on the iron ore first because getting all three things... It says here, look, for a maximum production rate, supply all three required cargoes at least once every three months. So getting a regular delivery of all three of those cargoes is a good thing to do. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to build this station because I could just build lots of terminus for each of these. I mean, we've got, I suppose we could actually do a dedicated line for each one of these iron ores because we do have a... Well, that's a bulk terminal over there. We we could potentially have a lot of engineering supplies. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five different places we could have a ten wide drop off. How much room is there for that? Let's have a look. We do a ten. Yeah, why not? That sounds like a good thing to do. Okay, so we're dropping off iron ore. That's a mineral. We're dropping off limestone. That's a mineral. All mineral unloading. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to slightly offset it a little bit. And we're going to build an ISR station, which is going to be a mineral unloader. And we're going to have a really fat one. What I might do is leave kind of this space here available for maybe future expansion. Maybe we want to bring more stuff in from further afield or something like that. But for now... Let's go. Let's go right up against it. Maximum 12. Area is going to be 10. Wow, that is quite the unloader. We could probably put some decoration on the side as well. We do have the availability. So then we can group these up into twos. And because each one of these two platforms is only servicing one industry. I think we don't have to worry too much about the throughput. Now, if you're doing lots of complicated networks, you have to worry about, can I get enough trains through? For example, down here, let's say you were delivering loads and loads of things. This has to be very efficient in order to get all those trains in, all of them to be able to service, and then in and back out of those platforms but over here if you've got two platforms dedicated for dropping off goods uh, what well, uh, not goods sorry um, commodities from just one industry surely that's gonna be enough and if it's not gonna be enough you're delivering a lot of stuff and that's good the only thing is we've got to go under here so I think what we might do is we go straight under uh, we're not going to be able to have room for depots. Let's we do some special, some special stuff here. Hmm. Okay, let's do something a little bit special. Let's say that we want depots on the way in. We're going to have to have. I'm. Um, by the way, I'm figuring this out as we go along. We're going to have to have a tunnel here for this to go under. All this other. Um, Railway could be on a tunnel. Let's see. Does that go up or down? I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff there. Why are we not shifting it? Where are all the trains? Are they all in the middle of journeys? We've got one on the way back. Okay, we, we, we might need more. Let's just pop one more in while I'm working on it. There we go. Anyway, what I was saying was, is that it'd be nice to have depots here. But if we... Like, can I go down here and then that will allow me to actually have double depot tunnel yeah that that works quite nicely so we, then we can go tunnel tunnel and then just keep going along Ooh, okay this this could work and be very neat the only ah right okay there is a problem the problem here is is that I can't then get the next set of depots in there. I would like to be able to get the next set of depots in, but I can't. Hmm. I mean, I could move this line, make it easier for myself, and then I can stagger things. It's 
Shall I make things easier for myself? Or should we try and figure out a way around it? That's a good question, isn't it? I mean, one of the things is, is I just realised we've got an extra piece of track here that I don't need to worry about. So let's let's push everything back this way. So if I go like this, I can go under here, move these depots forward, and then the next one can have their set of depots further back with a tunnel. Yeah, that's fixed it. Now the only problem here is, is that we've got this down and up dip, which shouldn't really affect fast moving trains. We also need to remove the forbidden bit of track. Um, what bridge can we have? Let's have a look. There's a, there's a steel girder bridge. I wonder, can I... If I move this section... Hang on a second. Let's delete that. Bring, bring this back up again. Put that there. Can I go down here instead? Tunnel down and under. Yes, I can. That saves the need for a bridge. And a uppy downy bit. Now, can I tessellate this? So this one... No, I can't. Because now I need to put a depot over the top of that tunnel. Okay. So, I can either have an uppy downy bit... Or a bridge, or not have these lines right next to each other. Now, I'm having the lines right next to each other. I think a bridge. I think a bridge is better than an up and down -y bit. Let's, um, let's move, let's get rid of that. Move that bit along, put it back. There we go. Get rid of that. There we go. Pop our little bridge in. And then, I guess... Tunnel, depots, tunnel, depots, tunnel, 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 uh, bridge, 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 and I did that by holding control. If anybody's going, hang on a minute, the thingy didn't pop up. Yeah, I know it didn't pop up. And then we can pop in our depots, so depot, 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 remove the forbidden bit of track, cool, now we've got optional depots for all the inputs in here, I, the only thing now is that I can't get a signal after the depot, I mean I don't think I need it, we can put a signal in before the depot, that is kind of needed so let's uh, make them transparent while I do that I find it odd that depots use the same transparency option as, as the stations so signal in signal in signal in signal in okay that's all good and then I mean there's no room for a signal here on the way out which probably would be nice but at least we're out okay so now we just got to take these to the right ones. So if we say that's the first two tracks, then that one is the second set of tracks. This one can be the third set. That one can be the fourth set. And this one over here can be the fifth set of tracks. So we're interested in set three and four. So that is, uh, are we gonna make them come up? Yeah, one, two, there's three. There's four. Uh, five. Did I say five? Yep, five. So this one, I guess we could just tunnel under there. I suppose really they should both tunnel under there. Let's get rid of that. In which case, if we're going to tunnel under, we're going to stay down. So we will do it here like this. Uh, and we will do it like this. So we just go straight down, stay down, tunnel, tunnel, uh, get the right keyboard shortcut, uh, 
There we go. We can just pop some signals in. In fact, we may as well put the signals in now. So, in, out, in, out. We don't have a shake it all about line, but I suppose one thing we could do is keep the station down low and then it would never have any problems. But let's just go... Let's do a simple design like this. I think it'll be okay. So we'll go with a mineral loader, maximum length, and then I guess it's going to have to have a wiggle there. Okay. Oh, I like that. That 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 works nicely actually. The only thing is is we don't get a depot in there, but I don't think we need one. We got a depot on the entrance to this station and it's really close, so we just put a depot on the entrance to this station. There we go like that. Remove the food bin, bit of track. And is that in the coverage? I didn't check. Yes, it is. Jobs are good and Let's get a new vehicle in here. Again, let's get our engines. And we'll get our... What are we picking up? Limes? No. Iron ore. Make sure I refit to the right thing. Iron ore. This is an iron ore mine. Okay. Iron ore hoppers. Now, this is a really close distance. So, I don't think we're going to need more than two trains. Uh, nope. We don't want to go to this place twice. I was talking about two trains. Like, the, the two sets of platforms are relatively close to each other. It's almost within road vehicle distance. Uh, but I'll clone it, and we'll set two of them on their way. What is the platform-to-platform -platform length? 32 squares. Fair enough. Now, with this one, I think what we're going to have to do is try and get the platform so it only just connects here. And figure out a better way of doing it. Maybe have it deeper? Hmm. Actually, this will work. Just need to give myself a little bit more space at the top there. And then we'll row row this way around. And then this can come out like that. How's that then? We can have a signal going in there. Did I do signals this side? I did not. Let's do let's fix that. Uh signals on the end of the platforms here. May as well have a signal there as well to help with flow. Good. Okay. And then presumably down and in like that. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to actually bring the land up here. Um Ah, no, because then we're going up and then up again. Hmm. That seems like a bad thing to do. On this one occasion, let's do it. <laughs> let's see how actually terrible it is. We all is. I always try and avoid going up or down two lengths at the same time, like I am doing here. Let's do it and see how slow those trains really slow down. It might be terrible probably will be terrible but let's let's have a look let's find out signals on the end and we'll get some depots here on the exit this time rather than the entrance there we go looks good we just need to pop some ah now we do need a depot on the way in so that we can add new vehicles easily so let's do that here yeah here I uh, can't see no, not like that. We don't allow 90 degree turns. There we go. So we can just clone this train in here. As long as we're not holding control, we're all right. Take away that first order. Swap it for this one and add a second train. Nice. Okay, and we pretty much spent all the money that we got as well. Uh, we've got... Let's get rid of that. We've got three things left to hook up which I will do at the start, probably the start of the next live stream. Um, yeah, not sure exactly how these things are going to get from where they are to where they need to be. So also these names of these towns are massive. Oh, this town also needs a statue of the company owner uh, so that the uh, ratings uh, go up. Whoa, steady. 
Um, yeah. There we go, folks. I, I, I think that's going to do for now. What we will do, though, is just unpause for a short amount of time. We'll see that we've got our trains coming in here to start collecting our uh, iron, cast iron, or whatever it is. Can't remember now. <laughs> trains over here to collect limestone. I did tell them, I, I was going to tell the trains to stop in the middle of the platforms. Just because I think it looks better. Uh, like, near at middle. Like, go into the middle of the platform. I don't know if that one, I clicked it in time. Yeah, I did. There we go. I mean, it doesn't matter when we get long trains anyway. And uh, our road vehicles are going okay here. We're loading over there. We haven't actually really... Oh, look. We made two tons. Two whole tons of cast iron. Fantastic. And we're already loading up here? Is this full? It's empty. Must be to do with the way that I did the orders and they're skipping their first order. Yes. Okay. Well, we're starting to get iron ore on the side there and, and, and over here too. So this blast furnace is really kicking things up a notch. I'm really happy about that. And I'd also be really happy if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it. It does help uh, help me out. And pop a comment in. Tell me what you like most about these sorts of episodes. Do you like it when I do something new? Or do you like it where I do lots of the same thing, but really quickly and just get a network built quickly? And Or do you like it where I just crack on? Or do you like it where I explain things a lot? Um, give me some feedback. I'd like that. That'd be brilliant. Thank you very much. But that's going to be all from me for now. Remember, you can go to my website, masterhellish.net, to learn more about the me, the things that I'm doing, and all the links to my social media and other stuff. I will see you soon, but for now, take care, and goodbye.